Hello, sweet, beautiful souls. Today's message is really a continuation from yesterday's message. So if you haven't seen or listened or watched that one, I highly recommend you begin with that one. And this one is going to illuminate and really feels like the next steps. So as we dive in, just invite you to give yourself again these five minutes to drop in to have this presence this peace and this is really what we're talking about is emotions and how do we cultivate this inner trust and truth within within the body and really harmonizing and merging the mind body soul so with that I invite you to take a deep breath allow your heart to receive and with that let's dive in when you withhold the truth from another, you are withholding the truth from yourself. When you withhold the truth from yourself, you withhold that which is you. And so as many here are delving into discovering who they are, we invite you to ask, where am I withholding truth? Where am I withholding what is true to me? Where am I withholding that which I desire and want? Where am I withholding what I truly feel. What do you want to express? What does your body want to express? What does this version right here and now want to express? Many of you have been taught to think back to times in your life where mother didn't let me do X, Y, Z, or father expressed this to me in such a way. But we are asking you to look beyond this, seek beyond this, come right here and right now. What do you want to say? What do you want to express? What do you want to feel? For perhaps in these older emotions, for perhaps it is these older emotions, and perhaps it is simply the current iteration your soul is asking you to see, witness, and feel. There is no right or wrong or good or bad. Sadness, anger, and any perceived lower emotions are not bad. They only turn rotten when left unfelt. Imagine your garbage cans. If you didn't take them out, it would eventually decay and ferment and spoil. It would begin to smell and get even greater and greater. This is akin to our emo to your emotions. Even as simple as feeling sadness in a moment during your day or an incident that has made you feel angry, taking time to witness, acknowledge, and process your emotions is taking your energetic trash out. Although we would never wish to call your emotions trash, for they are actually sacred messages from your soul. But in order to truly learn these sacred messages from your soul, the opportunity first lies in becoming familiar with the emotions as they arise and finding a safe outlet for them. This does not mean it to act erratic or outlash in inappropriate ways or situations, but it means to begin to get curious with emotions as they arise, holding space as they arise, and letting them move through the body. And as you begin to do this over time, you now begin to build trust within the body, within the mind, within the soul. And now these energies begin to come into our harmoni harmonious existence together, to work together in union as the soul fills up the entirety of the body and mind and expresses via the outward body into the physical reality. As opposed to the soul disconnected, yearning to guide the body and mind, and instead ahead or behind, the mind is trying to do all of these things and accomplish. Slow down. Take a deep breath. This process takes time to learn, to understand, and to navigate as you find your way home to the body. This may mean it looks different each day or perhaps the same. There is no right or wrong or good or bad. There just is. Your way, your learning, your journey with your soul, body, mind, and God. 
And so as you learn to express how you feel, whether directly to another, directly to yourself, or in another outlet of release, you now keep your energetic and physical vessel clear, clean, and running energy in a more efficient way. For the body is only ever reflecting you to use stagnant energy within. And while emotions and repressed truth may not always be at the root, moving and learning these energies within you may lead to more profound healings and health than one could ever imagine. Trust this process in however it looks for you. Be open, curious, and approach this as a child learning a new skill, for your bodies are truly coming into an entirely new energy and way of being and living in the world. So be curious as to how they wish to show you, express to you, and how you may come to know them. This journey is one you have the opportunity to grow deeper into and for the rest of your life, your journey here in this body. And as you deeply cultivate this, you heal and benefit this body, those around you, for not only this lifetime, but lifetimes to come. And so it shall be, and so it is. I pray that this message finds you wherever you are at today and simply blesses you. I'm sending you all so much love.